Ryan's still working with his yeah. camera. All right, this is not working. All right. Okay. <laughs> well, we need to be seated. Yes. yes. So you must wait, and he will help you out. Okay, guys. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you guys go outside. Come on. Oh, and look at the table. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> and all the fifties. Oh, look at the bags. <laughs> Let's see if they're see seated. If they're ready. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh. Let's come on up. Don don da da. We got dragonflies. Don da da da. Don da Oh, Mary. Hi. Nice to meet you. All right. <laughs> well, welcome here tonight. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. And welcome tonight to tonight's celebration of Tom and Mary for their 50th wedding anniversary. We are very excited to have them here with us tonight. We made it possible by temporarily having their passports suspended. <laughs> As you know, Tom and Mary are often found traveling from place to place, and not just to the next Starbucks <laughs> down the street either. They have been travelers around the world through Southeast Asia, Egypt, Cuba, the Amazon jungles, the plains of Africa on safari, on a boat to Turkey, and most recently to India. Anyone need some frequent flyer flights? <laughs> but before they began all those amazing journeys, one thing was clear. Tom needed to win Mary's hand, and he didn't start out too well with first impressions with shoes being held together by duct tape. <laughs> <laughs> Tom and Mary tied the knot during the Vietnam War, and there was talk Tom might get drafted. So naturally, he did the only thing he could. He got Mary pregnant with their first child, Ryan. <laughs> Two years later, this lovely couple then had a daughter, Amanda, or Mandy, as most of you know her by. In 1984, this family of four moved to Minas from Minnesota to Toledo, Ohio. Tom was put in charge of the Develop us. <laughs> company, and Mary was in charge of keeping house. While there was many happy moments in the home, there were some also hard times to get through. After a few years, the company was sold, and they moved out of they, and they moved out of state. Tom worried and wondered what he was going to do. Then finally, Tom was hired to run the Chalate <laughs> company in San Francisco, California. Yes, folks, their barge had finally come in. <laughs> when Tom and Mary began receiving multiple mailings from ARP every week, they knew their retirement years were soon approaching. They took up hobbies like tennis and golf, but soon discovered tennis to be just another racket, so they focused mostly on golf. Why, just last week, Tom was out playing golf and shot at 82. And then on the second hole, <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> coming up in a, a big fish story. <laughs> <laughs> but they, but they will try anything, and I mean anything. How did you enjoy the ants in the jungle, Mary? <laughs> Yummy. Oh, they were good. Yeah, mm -hmm. they were. They are true foodies. By enjoying the experience of a great meal with conversation and wine. Mary is an accomplished gourmet chef and Martha Stewart hostess, while Tom, well, Tom knows how to handle a grill better than any grill master. Not just smoke signals he's sending up on a Saturday afternoon. <laughs> Let's just say to Tom and Mary, being together for 50 years is really only the beginning of your wonderful lives together. They still have a date night on the local, at the local movie theater, will not hesitate to see a music concert, and are the first in line at the box office to the newest theater opening. 
Tom and Mary are definitely great examples of keeping things fresh by trying new things and more importantly, not letting troubles get them down. They are great role models in constantly communicating with each other. Although the phrase, what did you say? <laughs> <laughs> it is a little known fact that most people don't know, but I will share with everyone here tonight. In an afternoon walk, Tom made a solemn promise to Mary. Tom held Mary's hands and looked gently in her eyes and said, Mary, I can't promise you that I will, I will love you for the rest of your life, but I will love you for the rest of mine. Nice. Marry me again. I've spent the day thinking, wondering if it's real. There has to be a special way to show you how I feel. Your presence makes me tremble. Your eyes alight with love. If there is a place called heaven, you are sent from above. I think of all the memories, the times we spent together. The one thing that I'll always know is we will be forever. I think back to the day of when we said I do, and you softly whispered in my ear the words, I love you. I felt true love that day and feel it more and more. We have created something magic in our lives here. You have been in my thoughts all day long, and then it dawned on me, my love for you is so strong, I want the world to see. I want to take you in my arms and dance under the rain. So will you do me the honor of marrying me again? You want to face each other? That would be nice. <laughs> it is a pleasure to share today's special occasion with you both. Many people believe that entering into marriage is the final step in a romantic relationship. As they see it, a couple meets, gets to know each other, falls in love, decides they want to go through life together, and then they take the final step, marriage. But marriage is not meant to be the final step in a couple's relationship. It is really just the beginning of a grand adventure that hopefully will be long and fruitful for each other. You have shared the joys blessings, and yes, the challenges of married life. And today, you will reconfirm your commitment to working together to make your marriage grow and blossom still for many years to come. May the ceremony renewing the vows you took to become husband and wife on your wedding day remind you that despite the stresses inevitable in every life, your love, your respect, trust, and understanding of each other will continue to increase your contentment and heighten your joy in living. Hey Tom, I'm going to ask you first. Tom, do you reaffirm your love for Mary and will you love her, honor and cherish her in sickness and in health, for richer, for poorer, for better, for worse, and forsaking all others be faithful to her as long as you will. Shall we? you reaffirm your love for Tom and will you love and honor and cherish him in sickness and in health for richer, for poorer, for better, for worse, and forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live. Absolutely. Okay, I'm just going to have a few bows. I'm going to have to repeat after me. Do you want to? I, Tom, take you, Mary. I, Tom, take you, Mary. To be my wife. To be my wife. My partner. My partner. And my love. And my love. Forever. Forever. From the moment we first met. From the moment we first met. I knew that we were meant to be together. I knew that we were meant to be together. I will always do that. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we'd have to be together. Yes. I will always treat you with respect. I will always treat you with respect. And caring. And caring. With compassion. With compassion. Throughout the rest of our lives together. Throughout the rest of our lives together. Okay. And Mary? I, Mary, take you, Tom. I, Mary, take you, Tom. To be my husband. To be my husband. My partner. My partner. And my love. And my love. Forever. Forever. From the moment we first met. I'm almost the moment we just <laughs> I knew that we were meant to be 
meant to be together. I knew you were meant to be together. I will always treat you with respect. I will always treat you with respect. With caring. With caring. With compassion. With compassion. Throughout our life together. Throughout our life together. Okay. Tom and Mary, there's just one thing that I want you to know while you're standing there. Now that you have taken all these trips around the world and did all your traveling, it is now time to sit back and relax and take care of your grandkids so your children can go on these trips. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Psych. Yeah. Psych. You can do that. You can hire her. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you paid her to say that. <laughs> I ask that you each remember to continue to cherish each other as special and unique individuals and that you each respect the thoughts and ideas of one another. And most all, of all, be able to forgive each other and not hold grudges against one another. Live each day in love and with each other, always being there to give love, comfort, and refuge to each other in good times and in bad. Today you have renewed the promises and vows you made to each other on your wedding day. It is with great pleasure that I conclude the ceremony of renewing the vows of marriage that joins you and binds you as husband and wife. Please celebrate this renewal of vows by kissing your bride. Oh. Careful, Thank you. We're supposed to say woo hoo! That's not good for nature. <laughs> we need one of you guys without here, both of you, the twins, here they are. Okay, get close. Can you get my size? What? Is yours big? <laughs> Is yours big? You can't see anything. <laughs> That's so weird. Why would you get those things? Oh my gosh. I don't know. I don't know. Get close so we can see your faces. I can't imagine why. Okay. Big. Oh, it's so sexy. <laughs> <laughs> I can't imagine why you give it. Is yours big? Mine doesn't no. fit. Is yours fit? No. Yours is fit. Yes, they're well custom signed. made. The same size? How would they not fit? They're custom made. They're, they're custom. custom. One size fits all? <laughs> Oh wait, this is so totally out of order. What what year is this? One, <laughs> that's one, the, that's the, the most one size recent. fits oh, most. Oh okay. Well, some is that really right? messed up putting these together. I think that's from Maga's <laughs> wedding. Maga Jim's wedding. Inside, you must open at the same time. Okay. <laughs> I love this paper. I know. We're gonna save that paper and give it to Mary Jo with all of the food that we brought up there. We <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh Tom. Oh, it's heavy. Uh oh. I got called out of the now, airport. What year with is those. this? I think this is well, what year is that? This is the this is the most this is in the the early nineties. I think this is gonna be 90s. Cheryl and Johnny's wedding. No, it's a man and wedding. Jim's this wedding. Did, did you wear wedding? dark for that? I, 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 that's what yeah. I said. Mom said no, because she had a black dress on. I said Yeah, there you go. Uh -huh. no, uh -huh. For your wedding uh -huh. I had a black what's, dress. what's your birthday again? Yeah. 1972. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no. open okay. it up. Open up. What do you have? What do you have? I don't know, but it, it feels like a spatula. Oh my gosh, this is so scooper. weird. A Hold them up. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> gosh. Golden trowels. So They're what? shovels. What the heck are I don't those? Know, that's so <laughs> <laughs> Golden trowels. <laughs> I, I, I have no idea. idea. What, what year is this? <laughs> that was back in the 80s. What was happening? I don't know. We were in Toledo. Yeah. <laughs> it was your... Uh, Dad, Dad, what is that know? thing, that, that furry thing from Star Trek called again? Tribble? Tribble. Oh, Tribble. that's our... Yeah. 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 Oh, you look cool in that 25th anniversary. You took out the top of your wedding cake. And we were... Oh. oh. Yeah. That's when your folks came over to the kitchen. No, that's when, uh, that was uh, Grandpa Dor's <laughs> wedding. Oh, that's the wedding. The reception. Okay, we were in Toledo. I knew yep. that. <laughs> Just <laughs> moved. Okay. 1984. 1984. Oh, my God, you look good. You look good. Oh. <laughs> wow, look at the end. things now. <laughs> <laughs> you want to 
hold my trowel. It's <laughs> <laughs> uh, really becoming like here. <laughs> well, he's tried on a couple, right? Or one. He's tried on the gray one. Yeah. I'll try the gray one. Oh, and then go to coffee. And then you try to get the senior discount. Regular Mary? It's so tight. Okay. Now, this will all come together with the last package, which should have been the first package, but it wasn't. <laughs> but what does it say? Mary and Tom. But look at the back. Wiggin' and diggin'. <laughs> <laughs> Wiggin' and diggin'. There you are. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Wiggin' and diggin'. That is very, very Clever. Oh, Very clever. From the first to the fiftieth. Very yeah. clever. Thank you so much. <laughs> they do these things and they just look at me like, did they do that? I said, I don't know what they're going to do, but I know it's going to be something really fun. Said, I can't wait to hear what they're going to do. <laughs> so now we have those stories to tell them. Thank you. Thank you. No pressure. Oh. That's right. So cute. So cute. I suppose we could wear this golf course tomorrow. For sure. You need for to wear yeah. that. And the wigs. For, for, for sure. sure. And the wigs. For and the sure. wigs. You have to have collared shirts at the golf course. You can wear the white ones underneath. Wear, wear it over your collared shirt. <laughs> okay. Yeah. We can wear them. You need to milk it. Yeah. We can wear them on the pontoon boat. Yeah. Milk it, man. And you you got the whole week to milk it. Can they get wet? Tremendous tale of Tom and Mary. 50 years. The prequel. You know what a prequel is? Yep, intro. What's the before the, the real? Before yeah. the fact. Yeah, it's an intro. Mm -hmm. It's like Star Wars. One, two, or three. <laughs> but you got a prequel before the. Who should read? Admar or read? Or after that. You read it, Admar. You've got it all of it. That's right. Let's hear that baritone voice. I'll read part of it. <laughs> okay. On February 14th, 1942, a baby boy was born. He cried and cried and cried. And consolably for the next 55 years. Until finally the nurse discovered the one thing that would make him content. A curly woman. A curly, curly woman. woman. Curly ribbon. I like curly, curly woman. woman. Curly woman. Maybe you should read it. <laughs> curly ribbon. I'm sorry. Jim, Jim, you should take over. His mom and nurses were so desperate. Curly woman. <laughs> <laughs> try, now take a breath and try and read it. Read it properly. They were so desperate to keep him calm, they didn't worry about potential choking answers. <laughs> they allowed him to hold the ribbon and play with the ribbon as long as he had the ribbon in his ch chubby little hand. He was the happiest baby on earth. It was a mystery. <laughs> of course, as he grew older, other children would try to take the ribbon away, but nobody could do it. The boy grew strong and protective of this ribbon. <laughs> Neighborhood children soon learned to never tease or take the ribbon away unless they wanted to get into a fight. <laughs> And there are pictures here. I see that. Yeah. I know. It's a little boxing gloves on babies. <laughs> There's a little baby. There's two babies. Little boy. One has a black you eye. You see, he wore glasses. <laughs> I see. It's your glasses. I see that. In addition to the obsession with the ribbon, little Tom, should have been little Tom, was also drawn to a particular kind of kind on person or kind of person. Kind of? A person. Oh. Kind of person. Kind of person. Yes. Mm -hmm. Kind of person. That's my old proofreading back here. Kind of, kind of person. Yeah, kind of person. I got that. <laughs> His parents noticed that whenever a person with curly hair was nearby, little Tom would stare and stare and get a look. And fascination <laughs> and happiness they couldn't believe. His favorite babysitter was a neighborhood girl with long, long curly hair. And baby Tom insisted on being carried around by her so he could always have his hand wrapped around a bunch of her hair. Do we go inside? There are a lot of them. And while other children were terrified of clowns, little Tom absolutely <laughs> adored them. <laughs> he was 
for some reason, I love clowns. Hmm? <laughs> yes. He loved the clowns. He loved clowns. He married one. He loved clowns. Somewhat. Okay. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, a few years later, a precious little baby girl was born with the curliest hair of hair the nurses had ever seen. Duane and Marguerite made the nurses swear that they didn't pick up the wrong baby from the nursery. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's I weird. Said, I'm not sure that these are my parents. Okay. The little girl Mary, Mary, sure did have the curliest hair, and she soon displayed some other unique attributes as well. It soon became apparent that she had an obsession with keys. Wherever she went, Mary would somehow find a key to add to her growing collection. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. You guys are yeah, good. She also had a tendency to want to spray things. <laughs> She even had some cats to spray things, <laughs> like spraying hairspray, water from the spray hose, and bug spray. Her brother Tom, unfortunately, was the main target. Thankfully, Mary expanded her interest as she grew older. <laughs> what a greatest picture. She developed into a well-rounded young lady who was artistic, played the saxophone, was a Latin genius, in addition to being a beauty queen. <laughs> Let's go inside. Let's go inside. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we're everybody's going inside. Mosquitoes. We're getting, we're getting killed.